Hi. Good morning, everyone. Again, I welcome you in linear equations session number seven. In this session, we are actually going to solve question number five, A, B, C, D. So this is the homework for you in this session. Let's start understanding. I have taken only the first question and all other question you have to solve. So first I'm doing others is nothing but your responsibility. So let's understand. When I look at the sum, you can easily see if the coefficients are too big. So to find out LCM, you see, uh, like a previous question as we have solved, what we did, uh, we brought either the coefficient of x or the coefficient of y equal, right? So same thing if I try in this question as well. Let me tell you, I have to multiply equation number 1 by 101 and I have to multiply equation number 2 by 99. 101 into 99, 101 into 101, 101 into 499 and for the same way, the next one as well. Don't you think this is a bit tedious job and as well, there can be difficulty in calculations. Then is there any easy way to solve this? Yes, there is an easy way to solve this. But for that, you need to first of all understand the type of the question or for what type of question you can use that method. You can use that method only and only for this kind of question where you have alternate coefficients. What do you mean by alternate coefficient? See, here the coefficient of x is 99 in the first equation and coefficient of y in the second equation is 99. And same here, coefficient of y is 101 in the first equation. So coefficient of, 100, or coefficient of x in the second equation is 101. So it's called as alternate coefficient. What the point? In this question, question number 5, you have all the question of similar kind, which is of alternate coefficient. And you have to solve using the same method. That's the reason I chose only one question and you have to solve all other questions. So I hope you all are ready for this. Let us understand. Believe me, it is a very, very simple question. Let's start working. In this question, first of all, without or irrespective of whether the X or Y is getting eliminated, I'm going to add them. Directly, I'm going to add them. So adding equation number one and two. Adding equation one and two. What do I get? If I add them, check. 99 plus 101, is it 200? Right. So here again, I would get, I think, 200 is equals to 499 plus 501, is it 1000? Right. Now, don't you think I can easily divide this by 200, divide this by 200, and as well as this by 200 to reduce our equation. This is called as reducing the equation. If there is a common in all the terms, I can divide that equation. Like I can multiply the two, two equations, same way I can divide the equation. So I can divide by 200, okay? So I'll just divide by 200, 200, 200, and 200. So what do I get after dividing by 200? Here I get x plus here I get y is equals to 0, 0 get cancelled and 2, 5 is at 10, so it is 5. Did I get a very simple equation? Right? But one equation is not sufficient. I need one more. <clears throat> okay. So to get one more equation, what I would do? Same way, like I added, I am going to subtract. Subtracting equation 2 from 1. Subtraction means what you know till this time, that subtraction means changing the sign, minus, minus, and minus. Okay, so I'll subtract now. 99 minus 101, is it uh, minus 2? So minus 2x. 101 minus 99, it is 2y equals to 499 minus 501, minus 2 again, so simple. 
again like a previous equation where, where I divided by 200 here also I can easily understand that I can divide by what tell me tell me yes 2 so what I am going to get here I will be getting minus x plus y is equals to minus 1 and that's my equation number 2 and I think I can easily solve these two equations I'll just note down those equations here x plus y is equals to 5 and minus x plus y is equals to minus 1 I'll get it uh, oh, 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 oh. I just have to change the equation number this has 3 and this has 4 okay so this is equation number 3 and this is equation number 4 so what shall I do to eliminate x or y I think x I can eliminate yes adding yes exactly adding equation number 3 and 4 what do I get 2y is equals to 4 y is equals to 2 such an easy answer putting this value in equation number 3 from equation 3 what we get what we get x is equals to 3 right and that is the answer I hope it is simple that's it in this session you have to solve all other questions of the same category and keep your answers ready and wait till we get the solution of it okay but don't forget to solve it at any cost I am getting doubts from few students I expect each one of you should ask me as a doubt please take these things seriously please take it positively and complete it yourself okay you are helping you as well as me in completing the syllabus okay so let us together <clears throat> today decide that at any cost we will be completing it okay ready everyone bye bye